What's up everybody? I am not Michael Kid and today we're gonna be playing a little games. This is on one of my favorite animes ever. It's called Higarashi. And it's gonna be it's gonna be some pretty dope shit. Let's go. Cicada. I cry. Rest in peace. Oh, I can't wait. Let's do this. I can't wait. Can you can you tell that I can't wait? I can't wait. Hirashi, when they cry. Oh yeah. Now with this one, I got all of the mods on it. So instead of like the original version of the game, uh, the all of the characters have voices, and all of the details and everything are supposedly a lot better. Thank you to people on Discord who helped me because I am very computer illiterate when it comes to this type of stuff. So let's do it. Let me make sure one last thing, y'all. Yeah. Demon the Way Chapter. Welcome to the world of Higurashi when they cry. The Onigakushi arc will be the opening inviting you into this world. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the life of Kina Mizawa to the fullest. The difficulty for this chapter is extremely high, but I hope you will enjoy the reward. Well, I hope the reward is some lewds, you know what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright. Okay, so, you know what, I'm going to take a picture of that, because I know I'm going to lose my shit. Oh no, it went away! I just opened it to the camera. Am I supposed to push anything? 
Or is it gonna go by itself? Oh no, it's going, it's going. Is going to be ripped apart anyways. Well, oh. having my body ripped apart would have been far better. I trusted her. No, I still trust her. Even in this moment, I trust her. But I'm starting to realize I didn't do it. I only wanted to trust her because I refused to accept the truth. It's a shame. It was as if I was trying to convince myself. It's such a silly, sobbing voice. And those tears. Those tears making a mess of my face. The mechanical, repetitious sound finally stilled and everything fell silent. Only the cry of the cicadas remained annoyingly loud. And yet, I felt as if I could still hear her voice. But that's not possible. She is no longer speaking. The only one crying is me. She never cried. Even when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion, because there were none to show. If she had no tears to shed for me, then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Then why this pain? My eyes getting moist. Why is this happening? I still wanted to believe I hadn't been split apart. That's enough, right? Inside me, an inner voice whispered gently. My spirit had suffered enough, and countless times I'd wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away, except I stubbornly refused to do that, haven't I? I'd feel better if I just threw it away, even knowing that I chose to believe, didn't I? Only I can understand the painful struggle and appreciate it. Hey, me? I've tried more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much. So. Isn't it alright to just take the easy way out? Some, yeah, sometimes. I mean, yeah. Besides, I'm not I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind with her. Sounds like a bad breakup. <laughs> like flowers by a grave. See? And now then. Calm. Calm your nerves. Even though you can't feel your right arm. Hey, me too. My right arm's all, all fucked up. Had a really, really bad fall. That's not part of the story. Just lift it up. And with every swing, forget a little bit more. That kindness made me happy. The kindness of bludgeoning someone to death? That's not really kind. That adorable smile brought me joy. I liked petting your head. Uh-huh. You don't got no head no more. I loved how... I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to say it. Ooh. Because this will be the last time. Because when I swing this down, I'll forget it. This is my first and last bouquet for you. A bouquet of a baseball bat? <laughs> all messed up. Perhaps I really did love you. I was little early on that one. I didn't expect it to be that long. Is this the same opening? I don't know. 
If it is, I'll skip it. But if not, I'll let it play. Okay, so I changed some settings and crap, and my voice shouldn't be as quiet now. So let's do the do. Somebody has been apologizing for a while now. Fuck. No. I wonder what she's apologizing for. It felt wrong to eavesdrop, so I tried to ignore it. It had been a while since I last went to the city. I only returned to attend the funeral of a relative. Even though I lived there until last month, I found the bustle of the city to be over overwhelming. Those skyscrapers and multi-lane roads. The melodious cacophony of the crosswalk. I like that word, cacophony. It just is really interesting to say, cacophony. Say it with me, cacophony. It's like sarcophagus. But it's different. Even the campaign speech is blaring in front of the station felt nostalgic. The place where I live now isn't nearly as lively. There's only the chirping of locusts and the babbling of brooks. I don't know what a brook is. A bird, I don't know. And the cry of the of the higarashi, the evening cicadas. Ah. Ra rather than making me feel lonely, that quietness had begun to instill a sense of serenity. There's nothing where I'm living now. I don't just mean there aren't any burger joints, there aren't even any vending machines. No vending machines. I need me my fucking... My root beers! Oof. No music stores, no restaurants, and no arcades. No, an ice cream parlor? parlor? No, not a, not a chance. If you put your money on that, you're dead wrong. Not a chance. The nearest town has some stuff like that, but it's an hour away by bike ride. But kind of think of it, it wasn't really a big deal. I had popcorn or earlier, and I feel like a little pea stuck. There were some music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors where I used to live, but it wasn't like I ever hung out on any of them. I had lived in the city for 10 years and never once been to an ice cream parlor. I think I've been to one like twice. It's a Baskin Robbins type shit. I should have at least gone once. It's only now that I'm starting to regret that a little. Somebody is still apologizing. Who is she apologizing to? She's apologized so much, so just forgive her already. There's no reason anyone should ever need to apologize so much. I started to feel a bit annoyed at whoever was refusing to forgive her. No matter how bad the mistake, there's nothing that can't be forgiven. Well, I mean... Eh, that's debatable. There's no such thing as an irreparable mistake, and it's also debatable. You just need to be more careful next time. That's not how it works, man, but I'll take it, because I love this game. Or anime. She's still apologizing even now. Then, has she really done something that can't be fixed? I have no idea what she's done, but if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. That I... That makes sense. I have no idea what she's done, but if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. You know, I actually agree with that. Because, I mean, what's done is done. You know, if it can't be fixed, you know, just fuck. There's no point in holding on to it. No matter how much she apologizes, it, it pop. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. But even so, she keeps apologizing in such a heartbreaking voice. Hey you, the one she's apologizing to. Why don't you just go ahead and forgive her? She's apologizing in such a pathetic voice. Hey Ichi, soro soro tsukuzo. Shit, that scared me. <laughs> Sweet, I don't have to keep reading. Okinasai. Okinasai. 
I was finally, oh yeah, oh, okay, I gotta keep reading. I was finally roused from my nap by my father's prodding. It seemed the train had reached its final stop. We'd spent hours riding every day from bullet train to the local routes. Every damn day. It was hard to believe that the landscape beyond the window in the city I was in half a day ago were in the same country. <laughs> no, that they, no, that they were even from the same era. From there, we take a car deeper into the mountains. It's those, it's, it's the vans. Lovely scenery. Past where the dense forest encroaching on the mountain road suddenly opened up. I want to go to the city one day in Japan. I think it's like Oni. Chifu, Gucci, ha, you know what? I don't even know, but I want to go. This, there, where I live now, Hinamizawa. Hinamizawa. Hinamizawa is fun to say, like cacophony. I love that word, cacophony. Cacophony. I just love it. I don't know why. Even though we were approaching summer, the morning air still had a frigid bite. Although in exchange you could fill your lungs up with the crisp, clean air. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a verdant expanse. I have no idea what that means. Nothing but trees. Am I recording? I better be fucking recording. Okay. The neighboring house was far away on the other side. So I was probably the only one enjoying that view and that air. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. Fresh. Since I started living in Hinamizawa, I learned that even air had its own taste. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. My mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. He was probably up working until the early morning. Dad had a rather unconventional job as a painter. <clears throat> it's such a laid-back profession. You get up when you want, sleep when you want, work when you want. It does sound like the life. I was so jealous of that easygoing lifestyle. I even wrote for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grow up. Dad was, an, it was ecstatic about that it was just because it looked easy i never tell him that though Dude, painting and drawing is hard that is not easy mom laid breakfast out on the table seaweed pickled vegetables raw egg and grilled salmon mm -mm -mm. my mom was such a good cook that it was scary she could kill you with that food that's how scary it was a perfect immaculate ideal breakfast Unlike my dad, who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule, my mom never squandered any time or effort. I don't know what a schedule is either, I'll be honest. She hummed a little tune as she brought over the miso soup. It seemed like she was in a good mood today. So, okay, so, just for anyone watching, when they actually speak, I'm not going to reread it in English or anything, so it's up to you to, you know, read that shit. You've been warned. I thought I was being cute, responding with a, a wise crack after being praised for being good. Yamamori. Fuck yeah, I'll pile that shit. 
First I savored the steaming hot rice with the seaweed. After that I covered it with an egg. Between bites of rice I enjoyed the crunch. The crunch, crunch of the pickles. Not bad. Not bad at all. Excellent, if I do say so myself. As usual. Watching me clean my plate, my mom gave me a warm smile. I was not a morning person when we lived in the city. I slept right until the last minute of school and rarely ate breakfast. That's pretty much how I live my life right now. Boycotting the breakfast mom made me each morning, that was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend cram school. I guess that was what you call my rebellious phase. I wouldn't so much as look at the breakfast she woke up early every day to make. Well, that's sad. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. I'd slap you too. Or me, since I'm you. Or you're me. Or I don't know. Mindful of the time, mom rushed me along with a wide grin. Raina. Raina's babe. Osai. Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl. Raina is one of my classmates. She really loves cooking after people coming to meet me every day without fail. The way I looked at it, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. Well, fucking how old are you? Shit, you're lame. <laughs> I still feel it. But well, keeping a classmate waiting for me every day wouldn't be very considerate. It's true. Seriously though, how long does Reyna uh, wait for me there every morning? Taking the last gulp of miso soup, I raced for the door. Come to think of it, those pickles were not store-bought, were they? I don't know, why are you asking me? I didn't buy the fucking pickle. If I'd known that, I would have savored them a bit more. Always treat every meal like it's not store-bought. Ayo! Oh, Ayo! Let me check one thing. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Her chill, cheerful greeting was fresh as the morning itself. God, it's so HD and shit. Like, bef when I was trying this game before the mods and everything, it was, it was like, really bad. But I still would have played it, but then I found out about the mods. And it took a long time to fucking get it. that shit processed, but I got it. I got us high enough. Very. Very considerate. She's so conscientious and such a good person. Oh, that's mean. So sad. Saksaku oiteku. Kirikiri oiteku. Why? Rena had a slightly troubled look on her face. 
toying with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. I know people like that. It is a little fun. Fucking better. With those oh. Her face flushed bright red. ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがと
Coming up to the next rendezvous point, we saw another person waiting for us. Noting us, us noticing us, she waved. Oh, this graphics, oh, this graphics are so much better. You two are late. In sharp contrast to the diligent Reina, this one marched to the beat of her own drum. She's Neon Sonozaki. For what is worth, she's our senior and head of the class. As a tyke, like a youngin, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Mian's gaze at my chest and the drop straight down, focusing on the point between my legs. Classy. So she was saying it was my crotch that was cuter back then. <laughs> Before you ask, just I never actually tried to show it to her, per se. I've grown quite splendidly. I'd be surprised. Why is there no voice? What the fuck? So the fuck? Only is he bigger, but he has a little mustache now. Being so engorged with energy every morning is quite a problem. I'll introduce you next time. Be sure to greet him properly. And right now, it's just fine. How about let <laughs> What the fuck? But let the little guy get a breath of fresh air. I don't think I've ever heard... I've ever heard talk so dirty. You could smell it fouling up the morning air. Me on short to act like an old man sometimes. Gotcha. Time for the big food. Hope you don't read. As, as my hand reached for my fly, Raina began to ramble in a near panic. <laughs> her face and flustered Rain tried to play dumb, but I was curious she knew exactly what we were talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Mian switch gears, dropping the dirty talks, changing the topic back to something more befitting for a pleasant morning. おもちゃ屋巡りをしてる余裕なんかなかったんだよ。ちっちっち。おもちゃ屋とホビーショップは全然違うよ。特に洋物、こっちじゃなかなか手に入らないからね。みーちゃんまたゲームの話？みーち
俺だって遊び百般遅れを取るつもりはないぜフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフォークフ。Walking to the school. Hinemizawa was really a small village. Not only was there only one school, but there was only one class. Well, then, what the hell are all of these doors for? The class encompassed all different grades and ages. There are, all, are about 30 students at different levels, and they all study in the same class. I'm told that long ago there used to be a bigger school building and they had actual separate classes. However, it seems that something happened that made it become a single class and now it stayed that way out of tradition. I was shocked at first, but humans adapt pretty quickly. I've already gotten quite used to it. The sound of children playing started right from the morning. With such a lively mood, it felt more like a kindergarten than a proper school. Not that it was a bad thing. <laughs> Mian, who had been walking in front of us up till then, suddenly let me take the lead. Right in front of the classroom door. Oh, uh, so I was meant to slide the door open and enter first. Heh. <laughs> Too bad I wasn't going to fall for that again. You know, if you haven't seen Higurashi, you were about to meet Satoko and Rika. I haven't played this game before. I haven't played this game before, but I've seen the anime like three times. And I love it so much. To think. Oh, yeah, that was racist. Oh, yeah, that was racist. Oh, yeah, that was racist. Leon chuckled with a half, half, half. Half tea, hot tea, half tea, smoke on her face. Do I still know that it's more? Saga to Rodena, Abinazo. Yes, sir. Joe Satoko Tango, see Satoko. Her name was Satoko Hojo. She was a disrespectful, impudent, bossy kid.、And、the way she talks was annoying, but it would be immature to get worked up over just that. The real problem was this. Mie Mie no Ana da na. Shikido no ue ni hasanda kokuban keshi. Mie Mie da ze, Satoko! A hofty laugh. I don't know how the. You know what? I'm gonna look up how you pronounce that because I feel like it might come up hella often. h o f t y I spelled that wrong, even though it's right there. h o f t y Pronunciation. h o t t y Oh, so it's h o t t y h o t t y So I was right when I first did it. Ha. T. A hottie.
and it means arrogantly superior and disdainful. Like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Dude, the Higurashi laughs are so good in the anime. Omigoto, Kei-chan. Kori-a, konkai wa shoubu atta ka na? Iya, aite wa Satoko da. Kore dake to wa omoe nai. After falling for such intri- Intricate trap since the day I transferred, I no longer let my guard down. So, Togo liked to combine a variety of traps traps that were simply there to bait you into the main one, traps that relentlessly kept, kept coming at you like a sadistic Rube Goldberg machine. I don't know what that is. The list goes on. As well as being clever, they almost never misfire. When you really suspect it, she strikes. No escape. No time to relax. It took a he pretty heavy hit from a blackboard eraser loaded with rocks on my first day. Oh, piss me off. Jasa, Her thumbtack stuck to the sliding door handle with tape, a frightening trap. A potent, terrifying trap. That's just sadistic. Concealed by using the blackboard eraser. Short of my victory, I threw open the door and stepped into the room. I felt something strange at my ankle. It was similar to the sensation of a jump rope catching on my leg. By the time I realized she had me hook, light, and sinker, it was already too late. Rest in peace, my nigga Keiji. I began to fall in almost a picturesque manner. Instinctively reaching out to me and shrill warning, I twist my body mid-air before I landed on the floor. An ink stone? What the fuck is an ink stone? Filled to the brim was placed right where I would have landed. Also, when he fell, he was like, Matrix! And he fell, but just missed him. I shuddered, imagining the situation had I landed square on it. She's so fucking smug. I love that. Still sprawled in an awkward position, I was greeted by a mocking voice. <laughs> Seeing that inadvertent sprained my back a little and I had landed. I got a fucked up back. I feel cagey. Better than landing on that ink stone. What the hell is an ink stone? <gasps> it's Rika! I fucking love Rika! So much! The small hand gently rubbed my head. I'm all about them head pads, you know what I'm saying?
ケイチの痛いの痛いの飛んでいけです。Small hand, dainty. The small, dainty hand continued to gently stroke my head. Which one? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't put me on a list. Thought about asking how rubbing my head would help my back, but I didn't. It's not so much about what you actually do, it's the thought that counts. It is true. Even if you feel more pain because of that, you better, you better say the pain is going away. Never disrespect Riko. Rigachan greeted us with an adorable little bow. It was infectious. Rion. 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 God damn it, I mixed Reina and Mion. Fucking Rion. Uh, Reina, Mion, and I all about back. <laughs> Rion. Rika-chan is a good guy. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. I glittered over in her direction. Satoko was whistling while rather deliberately trying to avoid eye contact. You know, it's like, doo, 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 doo. I can't really whistle, like, on a command if I really try again. But you get the gist of it. Same, except I'm not a girl, but the very role model of someone who is good and well behaved and pure. And never does anything wrong. This kid. <laughs> I picked up Satako by the back of the collar. Just, just like a cat, just like. She looks like. Aha! She looks like a misbehaved cat when I do this. I called it. I'm just that good. But a cat, sh but a cat wouldn't be scraps. She's much harder to deal with. That was a violent gomenasai. Don't shit, yourself, man. Cocked my index finger on my thumb, letting it tremble as I brought it to a took index finger. Index? So like flick. It's true. Ah, I knew it was a flick. <laughs> Beast. That's true, it sounds sexual. A small hand tugged on the back of the shirt. Oh, don't get in the You can't use guilt or sympathy. Rika chan really is just so. How could I do anything more after being told that? I gently released my grip on Satoko, who at the point was on the verge of tears. She still had her eyes clamped shut as she braced herself for the for forehead flick. Aww. I'm so strong. Rika gently 
petted the head of her friend. You would never guess those two are the same age. Well, how old, man? You gotta, like, say some shit. I think Satoko could learn a thing or, or a million from Rika. Wait a minute. As she observed the scene, Rika's expression grew ecstatic as she began to swoon. I'm sorry, you all, you all had to see that. If anyone's watching at this point. So cute. So, so cute. <laughs> Just all blunt. You can't take them with you. You know you can't. But they're so cute. <laughs> She's so blunt. Raina kept a cutesy face even as outrageous ideas spewed from her mouth. According to Mion, Raina is ridiculously weak to cute things and always tries to take them home. She could take me home, you know what I'm saying? Oh man. Object or person. I mean, that's debatable. Akidamero. See, she repeats shit she says, and that's cute as fuck. Rena swooned over Satoko's crying form. Sounds very lewd. If a girl ever goes missing in Hinamizawa, I'll be forced to turn Reina into the authorities. That makes sense. Forgive me, Reina, for I have sinned. I'll be sure to bring you care packages when they pull away. Just for me, a single statement, the entire mood of the room shifted back to normal. Being stunned was bad, but the thumbtack stuck to the door was even a bigger problem. I pulled the tape off carefully, making sure not to skewer myself. Even though Satoko was the one who set it up, everyone had to pick up after her. By the time the teacher entered the room, the bed lamp from before had been neatly tidied up. <laughs> Mian gave out the morning commands. How long has this been going on? It doesn't say- oh. Damn! Okay. Well, just for right now, I'm gonna end it because it's been going on for quite a while. And it seems like a pretty good spot, you know? You learned a little bit about everyone, you got to see how they all are. And yeah. I'm fucking with this game so far. And I'm definitely hella, hella gonna be playing this through. Even if no one watches it, I don't care. Because I fuck with this game. But I'm gonna be continuing this. And like, subscribe. Check out some other shit. You know, all that good stuff. And yeah, have a beautiful day. And... Yeah.